Also breaking tonight, we're learning about a very disturbing security breach at the president's Florida resort this past weekend while the president was there. Let's bring in our justice correspondent, Jessica Schneider. Uh, Jessica, charges have now been filed. Tell us what happened. Well, Wolf, a woman holding two Republic of China passports, she actually got through that first initial, initial security at Mar-a-Lago. That happened around noon on Saturday, and she allegedly made it all the way to the main reception area of the club, all while carrying several electronic devices, one of which contained malicious malware. So federal authorities say Yu Jing Zhang presented herself at that initial checkpoint. She showed her passports, and then she gained entry under the guise that she was the daughter of a Mar-a-Lago club member. So she made her way into the club reception area, where she was actually questioned by a receptionist about why she was inside Mar-a-Lago. Well, when Zhang mentioned an event that wasn't actually happening, the receptionist then flagged a Secret Service agent who eventually questioned her off property. Now, agents say she became verbally aggressive and claimed that her Chinese friend Charles told her to travel from Shanghai to Palm Beach, Florida, to attempt to speak with the, a member of the president's family about Chinese and American foreign economic relations. Now, Zhang said that she had communicated with this so-called Charles over the popular messaging app in China called WeChat. And Zhang was also found by the authorities to have several electronic items, including four cell phones, one laptop computer, one external hard drive, and one thumb drive. And authorities say that that thumb drive actually contained the malicious malware. Now, this woman now faces two felony charges. She had her initial appearance in court, and she will be back for a detention hearing in Palm Beach, Florida, on Monday. But, Wolf, it's important to note here that President Trump wasn't actually at Mar-a-Lago when this was all happening right around noon on Saturday. We know that he was about 10 minutes away at his Trump International Golf Club. So there was no immediate danger to the president since he wasn't there. But, of course, this whole incident does raise a lot of questions about how uh, tight and good the security is at Mar-a-Lago. And, of course, Mar-a-Lago being this place that the president frequents. He goes there pretty much every weekend during the winter. He certainly does, and I guess they're trying to investigate the malicious malware. That seems like the most disturbing uh, element of this uh, mysterious case. Yeah, uh, exactly right. Jessica Schneider, thank you very much for that report. Joining us now, Congresswoman Jackie Speer. She's a Democrat, serves on both the Intelligence and the Oversight Committees. Congresswoman, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be with you, Wolf. I want to get to the latest on the subpoenas, the Mueller report. But first, what's your reaction to the, this report we just heard from Jessica about this uh, apparent security breach at the president's Palm Beach, Florida resort? It's astonishing. And it is yet another example of how willing this president is to violate the rules when it comes to cyber security and cyber hygiene. Whether it's him carrying his cell phone um, that could be hacked easily by the Chinese when he does his midnight calls to one of his um, uh, colleagues, or in this case where a woman was able to get through uh, under the guise of being a member and then wanted to talk to one of the family members about economic relations. Again, we can't forget that shortly after President Trump became the president, his daughter miraculously received over 30 trademarks in China that they had been trying to get for many years. I think the economic interests of the president oftentimes uh, play out in a way that may jeopardize the United States of America. But in fairness uh, to the president, you can't blame him if the Chinese, and we don't know what, if there was a, this was an official government intrusion or what it was, you can't blame him if someone is trying to, uh, to hack or do whatever they want to do uh, with uh, some uh, phones or computers at Mar-a-Lago. Well, I think we can, in part, because why did she even get in in the first place? Um, let's not forget that um, I, I believe uh, the Prime Minister Xi, or President Xi, was in Mar-a-Lago at another point in time. There's a reason why there's Camp David. There's a reason why it is created for the presidents to be able to retreat there on weekends. It's costing us um, millions of dollars a year to operate, and the president doesn't like it, so he doesn't go there. And so, once again, we have a porous Mar-a-Lago um, that we spend a lot of money every time he goes down there it's three million dollars and all the attendant costs associated with him playing golf on the weekends.